Hello everyone and welcome to the King of Shadows 1111 YouTube channel. This is Queen of Light 1111 here with your Divine Masculine Energy Check-In. If you guys want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to queenoflight1111.com. Let's go ahead and get started with the bottom of the deck for Divine Masculine's energy towards his feminine. We have the Page of Wands, we have the Five of Wands, and we have the moon card. What I'm really getting here is that communication um, between masculine and feminine is experiencing some conflict, some interference. I do feel that this divine masculine is experiencing some sort of conflict, disturbance. Um, something is getting in the way of him communicating with his divine feminine. And I feel like this is probably a mystery to divine feminines watching this. It does feel like this divine masculine is in the energy of maybe being mysterious, uh, maybe just hiding, um, withholding information. And a lot of it has to do with the outside world. Okay. What's happening in his outside world. So the affirmation here that we're getting, and by the way, this is my, um, 90 card affirmations oracle deck that comes with an online template for journaling if you guys are interested in purchasing that um, shipping is free in the u.s queen of light 1111.com um, if you are international email me for the link it says my twin flame has shown me that real love starts with me i just feel like this divine masculine when he is communicating and experiencing his feminine you know, he really feels love. He feels, gets in his feelings. And I feel like he's not in a position right now that he wants to be in his heart space to experience any feelings right now. And I feel like he's really numbing things out with the outside world um, because his, his divine feminine is showing him that real love starts by loving yourself. And right now, despite, you know, what's happening between them, um, what's happening with masculine is that he's having a difficult time loving himself. So any con conversation or communication with, between masculine and feminine right now is being blocked or there's interference and um, <clears throat> it just shows that there's conflict. What is divine masculine's overall energy towards divine feminine? Two of swords. There's an energy of conflict. There's an energy of stalemate. There's an energy of you know, not moving forward with any sort of communication and insight. His overall energy is I'm not going to give in right now. I'm not going to give in to my feelings. I'm not going to give in to communication. I'm not going to give in to moving forward, no matter how exceptional you are, no matter how magical you are, no matter how strong the chemistry is. Right now, it just feels like he is distorted in his thought process. He's in this energy of I'm not moving forward. I'm not communicating. I'm not going to, you know, let you in right now because I'm feeling very vulnerable and so his affirmation for his overall energy towards divine feminine is my twin flame and I are energetically connected energy flows between us constantly so regardless of whatever is happening in the 3d world you both are connected if you are experiencing you know these like bursts of mental energy um you know whether it's, uh, whether it's you know, angry or distortion or lack of clarity or hesitation or anything to do with your thoughts that could be coming from your divine masculine. Because when he thinks of you, king of swords, seven of swords, he is very much in the energy of keeping secrets. He's very much in the energy of withholding. And it's this energy because it feels like if he comes forward and tells you what is going on, it's going to create <clears throat> pain for him. It's going to create a repetitive energy with you. It may even create an argument. So, you know, this energy in his headspace, you know, it, it just shows King of Swords, Seven of Swords, and his overall energy is Two of Swords, Knight of Swords. It's definitely in his headspace. The things that he's thinking, the things that are going on with him is really affecting his mind right now. There's arguments. Uh, maybe there's things on the outside that are very difficult for him. And right now he's just like, I, I'm not, I can't communicate with you. I can't communicate with what's going on. And so his affirmation for his headspace is I am wanted. This really feels like an energy of lack of self-esteem and lack of self-worth. You know, he's not pleased with himself. Anyone that operates and is knowledgeable and has a conscience that they're withholding or that they're being cold and detached 
you know, there's something going on. There's pain in the heart space. He doesn't want to deal with it. And you bring out, feminines bring out love and emotions in their counterpart. And right now he just doesn't want to deal with his heart space. And so that takes us to the heart space. What's going on in his heart space? Any new beginning, two of swords. Two of swords coming out a lot. Got it two times already. He's not moving forward with an offer. He's not moving forward with any sort of a new beginning at this time. You know, he's hiding. He's in this energy of keeping secrets, trying to be mystery. We already saw that with the seven of swords. We already saw that in his headspace that he's not moving forward. So right now he's in the energy of just not feeling like he can move forward and he's not telling you why. So his affirmation for his heart is, I forgive others for their transgressions. So others is really telling me that people, or he may feel like people are doing him wrong. Situations may have gone sideways. And so his heart is hurt because of that. And so in his heart space, he wants to forgive others for what they have done to him or how things have gone sideways between them. And so when he's in his heart space, he doesn't want to let femininity in either because he's in this pain. So what's happening in his environment as related to feminine? We have the fool card. Any new beginning, any new cycle, he's, he's not talking about it, doesn't want to talk about it. There's an energy of, you know, consciousness. There's an energy of his value system. There's an energy of morality and ethics. He's just not in it right now. He's not feeling moral. He's not feeling ethical. He doesn't want to be in his feelings. So his affirmation is, I'm a divine spiritual being in a human body. He needs to remember that as much as you try to push off your inner voice, your inner guide, your higher self, your heart space, you are a divine spiritual being. You are not meant to be this distorted masculine. So I asked, what, what is the seven of swords in his headspace? What is he hiding? And what is he hiding in his environment? We have the High Priestess and the Page of Wands as the bottom of the deck. Well, we know that he's standing off of communication with his feminine. We already got that at the bottom of the deck. So this is confirming here the secret that masculine is keeping. So what's the secret? Well, the secret is there's a Queen of Wands and a King of Wands, and there's a complicated situation. So this could be two things. This could be either there's a third party situation that he's involved in, that he hasn't completely unraveled himself from, or this could be you and the masculine, where maybe he strung you along in the past and right now he knows things are complicated in his life. There are problems and he just doesn't want to, you know, continue to string you along. So the secret is there are problems. Whether outside of this connection, there's a problem with someone else that he's not telling you about or the problem is between you and your masculine and he doesn't want to string you along while he's going through this distortion in his headspace. So what is he hiding in his environment that he's really studying his consciousness right now? He is in a state of, of crisis, of sorrow, of emotional loss. So what is happening to this divine feminine is something has pained him maybe even devastated him and it is affecting him and it is affecting his heart space. It is hurting him in his heart space. So his inclination, his first instinct is to shut down and just stand in the head space. And when he stands in his head space, he gives in to distorted thoughts and then he blocks the feminine. He blocks his higher self and he stays in crisis. So what is the affirmation for divine feminine regarding what masculine is doing? Bottom of the deck is, spirit is saying to you divine feminine, trust that everything is unfolding in divine timing and that your affirmation is that you are protected by the light, that you have a shield of protection around you at all times. Your masculine's problem does it need to be your problem? You are protected, Divine Feminine. You are shielded. 
you are shielded. So if he is not communicating with you, or if he's not telling you something, it is your protection. You are being protected. And everything that's happening between you and the masculine, or whatever is even happening with masculine, it's meant to happen. It's supposed to happen. And everything will unfold at divine time. If you guys want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to queenoflight1111.com. And don't forget, if you want to purchase this affirmations deck, go to queenoflight1111.com. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.